and this is the energy vibration lesson for the um, first week of February 2017 for the Pisces welcome you Pisces thank you for returning thank you for your likes shares and support I want to say to each and every person out there um, it's um, going to be a week of the tower the energy of the tower come with the zodiac energy of hair and um, this is a week of transformation so be aware of this um, please like share these videos and thumbs up and um, thank you so much to my subscribers and to all new subscribers thank you for being here thank you for coming by and I hope you will stay okay let's look at your week and see what's happening we have a reverse card this week seems to be energy of the tower there's supposed to, there the five of sword in reverse so this is a good energy being in reverse whatever the conflicts are um, they're coming to an end so you have the energy of the five of swords in reverse you have the king of cups which is yourself which is good for you men and women you are present in your reading then we have the energy on Wednesday of the two of um, the two of cups which is wonderful for you um, Pisces this is good and then on Thursday we have the energy of the hangman and this is upright so before I go any further because this is beautiful this is what is happening for you Pisces and it's about time um, good things start coming in for you guys what is happening and what I'm seeing is that um, there is no conflicts anymore absolutely no conflicts there is no conflicts in your life absolutely no conflicts um, both the men and women especially on Tuesday is going to realize that and there's no conflicts and um, some of you are going to be coupled up with very very good people in your life positive people good relationships and that sort of a thing and on Thursday the energy of the angman you're finding back your true light on Thursday which is good there are going to be a lot of new love coming in because I'm seeing um, partnership in business on Friday you have the eight of cups um, some of you are leaving uh, conflicts behind and moving forward which is good on Saturday you have the four of uh, um, the four of ones you have a strong foundation moving forward which is good and then on Sunday you have the energy of the nine of Pentacles so this is good so whatever is happening um, it's going to be very very positive okay it's going to be um, absolutely um, positive so let's see what is happening what is going to be your overall energies of this week you have the energy of the three of ones you're leaving something behind okay there is an energy of the three of ones you leaving something behind okay so um three of ones this is a wonderful um, situation this is good because the energy no one has you know have um, the ones energy um, going forward so you have the three of ones so the energy of the tower is it, the, the energy of the week is the energy of the tower and it's all about um, you leaving something behind money is not going to be a problem because on Sunday most of you will be having the energy of the nine of Pentacles this is good you're going to be finding back your true inner light you're going to be receiving this money on Sunday it's going to be good it's going to be wonderful um, you're going to be feeling okay there is something you're leaving behind and whatever conflicts and stuff that has happened in your life you're actually leaving that behind and you're moving forward you ladies and gentlemen out there is um, have you know you all have a good strong foundation and whatever that happened and whatever that transpired there is a strong foundation you have the energy of the two of cups and the two of cups is a lot of you will be connected with good business partners and money is going to be very very good coming in for you um, business wise um, if you're looking for a new business partner that sort of a thing it's going to be happening for you because money is going to be coming your way your true inner light is as if you find your energy and your true inner light and this is 
bringing forth and connecting you with good people and good business partners okay let's see what else success I love this for you Pisces I love this so much for you Pisces ladies and gentlemen um, it's going to be a wonderful week because you have Monday to Thursday only water energy okay and Monday to Friday it's only mm -mm. Tuesday to Friday is only water energy. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday is going to be a very good day for you guys because you are vibrating with the energy of water. Sunday is going to be positive because the energy of uh, your financial situation is coming through. You're having a very strong foundation. You're leaving something behind because you have made something very you've made you you are successful. Whatever conflicts there were, you're leaving it behind. You're very successful and you have a strong foundation. And what is transpiring here is that you have the energy of strong foundation. You're leaving um, maybe um, uh, conflicts. It's just conflicts because you're building something strong and um, you're, uh, this is going to be good. New love is coming in for you, Pisces. Um, new love is really coming in for you Pisces this is good I said that and it came true so for you Pisces new love is coming in and it's going to um, bring a strong foundation in your life it's going to be bring a really really um, strong foundation in your life this new love that is coming in it's going to be very positive and this new new um, love that is coming in um, your financial abundance is also going to be good it's a um, it can be someone who's a, a Virgo or a, um, a Virgo or a, um, a Capricorn who is coming and so whoever this um, new love this new situation is that is happening for you it's going to be good your materialistic world is going to be um, very very positive because uh, uh, um, abundance is coming for you you can see that whatever you have planned whatever you have worked hard on is coming to fruitation um, so success you have success and love so you're having a huge success coming in for you and um, new love is coming in also for you love ace of cups um, new love is coming in for you in married married marriage partnership and that sort of a thing so this is wonderful and it is for the women and men so this is this is such a balanced read and I really don't need to ask any more question but I, I will see what is really transpiring but your week is going to be one and this is the most positive reading I've had um, this whole week and you know it's a strange week with the energy of the tower so you Pisces and I guess this is the beginning of the month of your birthdays so, so this is what is happening um, whatever conflicts you had with someone the Prince of sword um, you are just going to leave that behind because you're going to come out a very 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 successful okay whatever that conflicts you have with the king of swords you're going to come out being very successful the energy of an organization so a lot of you guys are going to have a um, new connection with organization and a new love forming between you and an organization and this is going to be good because it's going to make a very um, balanced and a strong foundation and um um, most of you are going to go on a new journey uh, most of you are going to be leaving an um, organization situation behind going on a new journey and you are going to be feeling much better about it you are going to be feeling much much better about this and this is going to be wonderful okay so let's look forward and see whatever else is happening um, seven of Pentacles um, failures there is not going to be any failures I don't know why they say the seven of Pentacles is failures because it's absolutely no failures because there is so many success you're leaving something behind so I guess you're leaving the failure because there is success so what was what was you know at the past because it's owned um, you are seeing that whatever that you felt as if it was a success uh, was a, um, the Queen of Cups is in the reverse form so 
ladies why are you in the reverse form mm. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. This is wonderful. I'm I'm having this situation. This is someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. This is someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Okay. Um you are leaving this person behind this man behind most of you if you are in a relationship with a Capricorn you're leaving this person behind you're moving forward okay for whatever reason you're leaving this person behind and moving forward whatever that you know conflicts that was happening between you and someone it's it's going to be um, successful because success is here you are having success because this is in the middle of and you're having success against the Prince of Swords so whatever that was a failure is not a failure because success is here for you here is happiness and joy and this hap this ace of cups have this ace of cups is here because you're seeing that there's an organization that is you know that was there and, and there you know they're going to be connecting with you and helping you to connect and bring forward positive energies in your life just about for everything that is happening and this is good um, some of you are going to have a new love a lot of you some of you are going to decide to get married some of you are going to really you know decide to connect together and and, and get married and and this is good basically because um, this is moving your relationship to another level so some of you are going to really connect and decide to get married this is good um, some of you are moving away from an organization some of you who have business with certain people and, and situation with certain people you are actually moving away um, from an organization you're moving away because um, something isn't uh, you're moving on a new part because you're really seeing that you know this energy this situation I really don't need in my life and I need to move away from this because this is not working out for me and I need to move away from it and this is good because the energy of the seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups is in the reverse form but you ladies should not feel as if you have been a failure to something you ladies should understand that sometimes you're come in this life to learn certain things and you have learned the lesson and it's time to move on it's nothing really is a failure it is how we look at things because really it is all you need to do is to be you need to um, have balance so nothing really is a failure we you just have to find that balance and balance out certain things and certain aspects in your life so um it is um positive it is good not to worry about whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring it is a good oh victimize i don't know i a lot of people feel victimized in this week and i don't know why and trust me people this is not my energy because i never feel victimized i am uh, <laughs> i look at things quite different forgiveness forgiveness I just love this you know look at this it's a perfect energy and it's alien and it says forgiveness look at this Rhino with this baby just so laying in this and this I find is so innocent and so thing and he's saying forgiveness you know this this is wonderful it's just going to be a week of forgiving the past and looking for something better in the future and I love this energy of forgiveness because you need to just forgive people this is why I don't see anything as victimized you forgive people and move on and you know don't even take another guess at it because people are people and I realize that we can't change people we can just um, change ourselves and be who we are and do what is best for us okay another care victimize okay I uh, obviously 
if you feel as a victim if you feel used and abused and you feel as a victim it is okay um, that's okay not to worry um, forgive forgive who has transpired who has transgressed against you forgive the person you know um, if someone did you something wrong forgive the person and move on because guess what um, we are we all are here on this planet to learn lessons and um, what is happening is that you this is a hard lesson for you to learn because whenever people feel victimized and I used to feel victimized and that sort of a thing and I'm I'm, I'm starting to um, really change my energy vibration and I'm thinking okay I feel victimized why is it that I feel victimized and then I'm going to look at it is it someone who hurt me yes okay when you met the person how did you feel did you feel as if yeah I don't think I should really trust this person or you know you felt certain things you saw certain things there are so many times that the red flag came up and now that this person is not there then you're feeling oh my god I wish I was this person has victimized me no um, I open myself to this person if I had say no and I had hold my grounds I would not feel victimized what is the lesson from this the lesson from this is that next time I come against that type of people then I will say no directly and I won't even give it the second thought of thinking of uh, and, and, and and then this is how this is actually how you deal with the process of victim um, victimized so um, this is good and this is um, you know powerful and wonderful forgive this person because sometimes people do things and say things and that sort of a thing so um, forgive this person because sometimes we can't um, we need to forgive and move on and it is you know sometimes it, it is better just to pray and you know call up on the angels of forgiveness and the angels of karma to just come in and heal whatever the situation is and ask them to now release it from you heal it and release it um, so that it comes back not in this lifetime or another lifetime you know there are people that I've met in this lifetime that I ask my angels and guides that I don't wish to meet them in another lifetime honestly because I think um one lifetime with these people I ask for healing for whatever the situation is and um, let me release this relationship in this lifetime now so that I will never see these people and come against these people in another lifetime okay and that's how you actually heal things there are people that I think are really um, I'm sorry but you know I really don't want to um, meet somebody like that and if I meet someone who is the same birthday or around the same sort of a thing I'm thinking um, angels please heal whatever that we're supposed to do or I'm asking the universe to heal whatever we're supposed to work out in this lifetime because I don't need this person to come too close to me and this is how basically and it is not it's so hard that is like if accent for healing is one of the most important thing because what is happening is that you are healing the situation before you're going to learn the lessons so you you said you actually ask the universe there is a lesson that I'm supposed to learn um, with this person but I I don't need to, to learn this lesson I'm asking for a healing I'm asking for a healing because I have learned it so why is it coming back and sometimes there is certain things that you miss and you have to go back and think what is it that I miss with this thing what it is that I needed to understand with this thing and so as how you heal um, certain aspect going forward ladies and gentlemen have a wonderful week namaste like share these videos namaste